Welcome and thank you for registering to attend Camp Typhi in summer 2024. My name is Dan Webb and I am camp director this year. Uh, I've been involved in scouting since I was a youth and I've spent, uh, spent a few summers at Camp Typhi as both a volunteer and as a member of staff. Looking forward to serving you this year. If you have any questions, my contact and my email information to contact me is Director Dan Webb at gmail.com. And yes, I did make that email specifically for this job. Uh, if you don't want to email me, that's fine. You can contact our service desk at 801 479 5460. And with me on this recording is our fantastic program director, Riley Davis. And uh, we'll have a chance to hear Riley speak to us about our great program in just a few minutes. So okay. there you go. Uh, first, uh, and, and most foundationally, almost all the information we'll be sharing with you today can be found on Typhi's Leader's Guide. This is accessible via the council website. So if you want to download your copy, which I highly recommend you do, visit utahscouts.org slash Typhi with Roughly, it's probably the same website that you registered for. Once you get to utahscouts.org slash typey, scroll all the way to the bottom and you can click a link labeled 2024 Leaders Guide. It's, it's a very valuable resource for you. If you haven't been there before, Camp Typhi is located in San Pete County, Utah. It's a beautiful location right in the high mountain deserts of the Colorado Plateau. It's located east of Mount Pleasant, Utah. It's about a two hour drive south of Salt Lake City. Our camp schedule begins on Monday and it ends on Saturday. When you arrive on Monday between eight and 10 a.m., you will ensure that you get to your campsite and troop ready to go before the program starts in the early afternoon. So make sure you get there before 10 a.m. Make sure that you bring wheelbarrows or carts or some other method of hauling all your gear to the campsite. Camp Typhi does have a rule of only one vehicle per campsite. Uh, that's so we can conform with, uh, with fire code restrictions. When you get there, send one leader to the lodge to check in. That one leader will need to bring all of the health forms, parts A, B, and C for all of the youth and leaders registered for camp for the week. Also make sure that you bring your group roster. The group roster can be completed at, you can probably guess this, utahscouts.org slash typhi. Once there, your troop friend will show your troop around camp and will take you to the aquatics area to do your swim check if you haven't done so already. Uh, you'll need to, everyone who plans on getting in the pool at all will need to perform a swim check. For as far as checkout goes, uh, most units will be already wheels rolling and, and on the road by 10 a.m. on Saturday at the latest. We ask that you leave your campsite better than you found it in accordance with leave no trace principles. Payments. Half of your total balance is due by April 30th. By paying that half of the balance by April 30th, it will allow you to register your youth to complete the merit badges. And the registration for those classes starts on May 1st. That's why we have the April 30th deadline. The remainder of your balance is due at, le at least two weeks before your group arrives at camp. If you plan to have visitors at any time that you're in camp, let them know that they will need to also check in at the office upon arriving at the camp. We'll get them checked in. We'll settle any costs for additional meals that may be needed at that time. Our goal is to provide your unit with an absolutely unforgettable outdoor adventure this summer. And to do this, we have hired the very best staff. I'm very excited about the staff we have working at Camp Typhi this summer. Uh, and since, since we're on that note already, 
Right now, why don't I go ahead and turn some time over to Mr. Riley Davis, our program director. He'll tell you a little bit more about this year's program. Riley? Thank you, Dan. Honestly, I could not be more excited about being up here at Tithey this summer. I'm Riley Davis. Like Dan, I've been involved in scouts since I was a youth, have my Eagle, uh, my Eagle Scout Award, and I've spent almost a decade working at different camps everywhere, well, all over the Western United States. So we're excited for this program. And the program we're using here is one that I've seen proven and had campers have a fantastic experience with over the course of all five camps I've worked at. So I'm going to go ahead and share the screen that I've got here. This is our week at a glance. If anyone is wondering where this is, that same camper's guide that Dan just said you can find on the Typhi website, this is actually page 20 of that camper's guide. So you'll have this even after the video. But Dan already kind of ran us through the check-in time. So please, like he said, arrive early so that we can get into the rest of the program without slowing things down. You'll see after that check-in and swim checks, really this Monday is the only day in which our merit badge classes are in the afternoon. Typically they will be in the mornings, but you can see at the bottom, we offer a large selection of merit badge classes all, all the way from handicraft and making things, nature, outdoor skills, our field sports. We do have um, rifle and shotgun shooting as well as archery. Um, our aquatics, we have a fantastic, even a heated pool, which is something not available at a lot of scout camps. So make sure your boys sign up for those things. Like Dan mentioned, anything in the aquatics area is going to have a swim check be necessary. So after on our first day from two to four, we'll have our first three merit badge classes after dinner. We're actually going to have, after flag ceremony, the staff is going to put on an opening campfire, which is always a great time to bond with your troops and bond with the staff as well. Your camp friends are going to be with you throughout the week. And honestly, that is what makes the Typhi experience is having people who are involved in your scouts' lives. Now, like, like you can see, quiet time is going to be typically at 10 p.m. We would ask that you would respect that so that we can wake up and get on our way early the next morning. Breakfast will be at 7.30. Um, there are some sunrise activities. For example, I believe the polar bear plunge is a potential morning activity there. Now, you may wonder what the camp inspection is. Each troop is going to be assigned a camp commissioner who is an older staffer who is in charge of helping them kind of take ownership of leave no traits within their campsite. That camp commissioner is going to come in and may have a really fun experience helping them to keep things organized. It really brings scouts together as a troop. Now, after our flag ceremony, we'll go into our typical schedule. 9.30 to um, 12.30 is going to be the typical merit badge hours. Three classes. After that, will be followed by lunch. Um, after that, we've got free time. Now, Free time is a great chance if they didn't get a chance to sign up in their three merit badge hours for something like rifle shooting or archery, or they want to spend time at the pool. We try to make all of those different areas of the camp accessible to everyone during free time. Now, the ACE program, you may see this written in a different way elsewhere, but it, ACE actually stands for Advanced Camper Experience. And when you see that, you can know it's referring to what in the larger BSA is called COPE, right? We have both low COPE and high COPE experiences, great team building exercises. Now, the high COPE, where you're actually roped in and up on the poles and doing those team building experiences are reserved for second year campers. Now, that doesn't necessarily mean second year at Typhi. If you have been to any camp in the council, then that can count. We we do that to incentivize and to kind of make it a different experience, something that when you came your first time, you didn't get a chance to do. But COPE, uh, Dan as a former COPE director, and I myself as a former COPE director, we've seen how much this can bring troops together. We would highly ad advise you to reach out and uh, go to those ACE programs. Now, after dinner, you'll see that on the week at a glance, we actually have different activities on different nights. For example, We've got the scout craft skill event where we take some of the basic skills that your scout should be learning in their merit badges and just in fulfilling the scouting requirements in general. And we turn that into a fun kind of 
set of games where they can go improve their skills in each of those categories. The commissioner campfire, like I said, that commissioner is in charge of a group of troops. He will be doing your inspections, but we don't want you guys to just have to sit and listen to us put on campfire programs. The commissioner campfire is a chance for your troop to come ready with a skit, a song, and a run on, which is just a quick joke. And we will actually have you and other troops in our camp in your commissioner area put on your own campfire. It's a wonderful experience. Um, the Frontier Games um, is just a time, it's less skills oriented than the Scoutcraft skill events, but still a fantastic time to bond with your troop and the other members in camp. And then finally, on the last day, we the last day is a little bit different as well. Now, we try to front load and make sure in Monday through Monday through Thursday, they should be able to get most of their merit badges done. On Friday, the morning time is actually kind of a looser merit badge completion time where they can, whether it's they haven't shot as much as they need to for archery or rifle, or they still haven't passed off a requirement in a waterfront merit badge. This is where, similar to free time, they can go, but it uh, go to different areas of the camp, but it is specifically for completing merit badges. And instead of free time that afternoon, we have a Typhi pentathlon. Okay, it's a round robin event. They get to go do activities all over the camp. Honestly, it's a great tradition, and your boys are going to have a wonderful time. Finally, there is Scoutmaster checkout at 7 p.m. on that Friday. We'll have a closing flag ceremony, closing campfire, and we and Dan already explained most of the checkout for the next day. All in all, I just have to say with Dan, the staff makes the experience. And we honestly are preparing a staff that will help your boys have a wonderful experience at Typhi this summer. I have seen the blessings of scouting in my life, and I'm so excited to bring that to each of your troops. So once again, my name is Riley Davis, Program Director. If you have any questions regarding this program, you can contact me at R-I-L-E-Y-A-D-A-M-D-A-V-I-S, RileyAdamDavis at gmail.com. So I'll turn it back over to Dan, but it's just such a pleasure and we're looking forward to working with you this summer. Oh, that's super. Thank you so much, Riley. Yeah, uh, this uh, this program, like Riley mentioned, it is, it's tried and true, and yet we continue to tweak and perfect it each year to make the camping experience even better. Program is going to be unforgettable. All right, so for I'd like to take the last few minutes of this uh, of this video to cover some important items. So, item number uh, number one, let's talk about food. We offer two different food options for your group. First, the dining hall. This one is, of course, the simplest. We cook it, we serve you the food, you show up and eat it, and clear your spot when you're done. All you have to do is make sure that you've uh, you've marked on your registration that this is the option that you want and make sure to let us know about any allergies or dietary restrictions that you might have ahead of time before you show up for camp so we can make sure it's there for you. If you have not yet marked that you would like to do dining hall, it's not too late. You can do this uh, to your registration online or you can call our service desk. Once again, that number is 801-479-5460 to get that added. The second option is, of course, bring your own. You bring your food to the camp, you keep it cool for the week, and you cook it right there at your campsite. Another item I'd like to discuss is about safety. So in reference to food, it's important that we keep in mind any potential allergies that any participant, either as a youth or as a leader, might have. If your troop will be using our dining hall, please, please let us know if anyone in your group has any special dietary needs or allergies. To share this with us, visit utahscouts.org slash allergy to let us know. Other safety items that I'd like to bring up have to do with trees and wood. Uh, the 
the environment and the ecosystem that Camp Taipei is located in is high mountain desert. It's a fairly fragile ecosystem. The trees take centuries and centuries to grow just a few, uh, a few inches in diameter, and their bark is somewhat fragile. So we love our trees at Taifi, and because of that, we ask you to please not climb the trees. Uh, they are deceptively old and shockingly easy to damage, so no climbing the trees. Also, hammocks are not to be strapped to any trees, living or dead. We don't strap them to living trees because, again, that damages the cambrium and the bark in the trees and can lead to dead trees. We don't strap our hammock to dead trees because that's dangerous for you. The tree could fall and cause a damage and death. So no hammocks at Camp Typhi unless you bring your own hammock stand. Now, something else to note about wood. Be sure to check if there are any fire restrictions in place before arriving at camp. Each camp is provided with its own uh, fire ring, which you can use as long as there is not a fire restriction that prevents us from using those. To learn more about any fire restrictions that might be in place, visit utahscouts.org safety. While we're still on the topic of fires, we have plenty of firewood in the, in the form of downed dead trees and limbs. So we've got that for you. What you'll need to do in order to harvest that is make sure that you bring an ax to chop up any dead wood that has already fallen to the ground. Don't be using that ax on living limbs and trees, but anything that's on the ground and dead, it's fair game. Cell service. Camp Typhi, even though it is in a fairly remote location and has great night skies with very little light pollution, surprisingly has actually fairly good cell phone reception. Uh, in most places at camp, you should be able to make texts and send, or sorry, to, to make texts or phone calls if you need to. The, uh, the best places are usually closer to the dining hall. If you look at the image behind me in the background, it's actually uh, one side of the dining hall at Camp Typhi, which is this beautiful lodge, one of the best facilities of any camp that I've been to. That includes some of the national scout camps, really top notch. Uh, something that we also are able to offer as needed if you we do live in the 21st century. If you are, if you absolutely need to use Wi-Fi because you you've got work that you need to complete, we can provide that for you on an as-needed basis. Oh, that's only at the uh, the the lodge or the dining hall that we're able to do that. I'd also like to talk about our service weekend. Uh, you are invited and encouraged to join us for our annual service weekend. This is going to be held on Friday and Saturday, June 14th and June 15th. Most of the service will be completed on Saturday, June 15th. This is a free event to all troops, to families, to individual volunteers. By signing up for our service weekend, you can stay free of charge at Camp Typhi for overnight on that Friday and then help us out with service projects on Saturday. So we encourage you to bring your group, your troop, your family, your group of friends, help us with a variety of service projects to help get Camp Typhi ready for the summer season. June uh, 14th and 15th is right before uh, Scouts BSA begins its programs for the summer. So we encourage you to join us. Uh, you must you must register for it. So to learn more and to sign up online, visit utahscouts.org slash service. Uh, once again, thank you so much for choosing Camp Typhi and registering. And we are so excited to serve you this summer at Typhi. If you have any questions at all between now and then, contact myself. Uh, I, the, again, my email address is directordanweb at gmail. Call our service desk at 801-479-5460, or you can contact Riley, who's already given us his contact information. Feel free to reach out to us at any time, and we look forward to seeing you at camp. 